Hi guys, this is Wizard1 bringing you another video. This time it is the uh, another video regarding my Xiaomi Mi Max Hydrogen Edition, which is the 650 uh, Snapdragon Edition. So if you had remembered watching my um, full video, full review video, you would have remembered that I mentioned that I was really annoyed that the Xiaomi Mi Max, for whatever reason, I'm not sure if it's because of the OS, but I'm guessing it's because of the OS, that MTP mode does not work. So what is MTP mode for those who didn't watch the review video? MTP mode basically allows me to use the phone as a mass storage device so that I can just plug one end of a USB cable into my computer and the other end into the micro USB port here. And that will instantly show up as a removal device on my computer which will allow me to basically after I record my videos that I can just copy it straight over without much of any effort. However, with the Xiaomi Mi Max, if you've noticed I've been recording with 4K for most of my uh, review videos recently and that's because I've been using my Xiaomi Mi Max. So what has happened is that because MTP mode does not work, I have to do two extra steps. I have to get a OTG device, plug it into the bottom of here and then plug that into a flash drive copy the file over from the phone onto the flash drive, unplug that, take the flash drive, plug it into my computer, and then copy the file from the flash drive to the computer. So I have two extra steps that I have to do, and it's a pain in the butt. And the reason why I've been doing this is I've noticed that when I was doing my initial recordings with 4K using this phone, that I had it defaulted to save to my micro SD card in terms of photos and videos rather than saving to the internal memory. So because of that when I was doing my first few videos uh, it was baffling to me that no matter what I did my videos would also always end up having lag or sync problems in terms of the audio in the video around halfway through the video. And I was thinking to myself okay so that's probably because of the I finally figured out it's mainly because of the SD, the micro SD card. So I'm like, okay. So I took that out, and I've been using the internal memory to do my recordings instead, and it's everything's been working perfectly fine. But that got me thinking. Okay, well, if that's the case, um, I my I guess my my micro SD card is just not fast enough. It's the one I'm using right now is a SanDisk Ultra uh, UHS one uh, U one. Uh, version of the SD card and because of that it's just not fast enough to capture 4k so that got me thinking okay so if if the phone can record in 4k logic would state well logic would expect that the phone itself would support uh, UHS 2 uh, U3 speeds if you have to record in 4k I did some research online and I could not find any information whether or not the Xiaomi Mi Max supported UHS 2 U3 speeds. So I decided, okay, well, for the benefit of myself and ease for myself as well as for you guys, I decided to buy a UHS 2 U3 uh, Lexar card here and also another uh, U1 here. So we'll just test them out and see if the difference between, I guess, the Samsung, uh, SamDisk and the Lexar in terms of the U1 speeds. And then on top of that, we will test the UHS 2 speeds with the U3 speeds. Okay, so I'm quickly going to just run the uh, benchmarks now. Unfortunately, I don't have, I don't have this... Uh, Xiaomi Mi Max here to record so I don't have a way of actually doing uh, time lapse so hopefully after recording this video using my uh, this camera here I figure out how to do or speed up the video so it, does, it won't take as long as um, it would without this time lapse okay so let's just quickly uh, run the speed test so this one is the uh, the SanDisk Ultra UHS-1 U1.
Okay, so you can see here with my um, sand disk, read speeds were at 1000 megabits per second and then my write speeds were 1.96 megabits per second so that was uh, basically extremely slow in terms of writing extremely slow in terms of reading and writing I don't know why it's that slow because uh, my previous tests show read speeds of about 27 uh, megabits per second and uh, write speeds of maybe about six so actually sorry um, that's actually really fast in terms of reading I just realized that that's a thousand megabits and I've been getting about 26 so that's the speed there and then for write speeds I'm only get 1.96 megabits per second which is extremely pitiful okay so let me just take this out So that's the sand disk. So let me just uh, clear the app now. So we'll go here, app info, force the stop. Okay, so we're back out now. So let's try the Lexar uh, high performance one, which is also a UHS one with U1 speeds. Uh, here it does say it can support 4K, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, this is a horrible design. It tells me to cut along this line and it doesn't open. Absolutely retarded. Anyways, it's beyond the point. Let me just cut this a little more. Oh, God. Okay, I'm just going to cut this completely now because this is stupid. Absolute stupidness. Whoever designed this packaging is retarded. Okay, anyways. So this is the memory card. Wow, they really have it like sealed in there. Oh, never mind. Okay. So. So we have the, um, the Lexar 300X 32 gigabyte micro SD. And this is the UHS-1 U1 speed. So let's just put this into the Mi Max and see, benchmark this and see how fast it goes. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's do the benchmark again. Okay, so we have the um, it benchmarked now. So if you can see here, we have a read speed of 31 megabits per second and a write speed of 18 megabits per second. So that's definitely f a lot faster than my SanDisk. And it is, I guess, not, but still not close to the speeds that I need for for this because if, if you see here it does say 45 megabits per second uh, write speeds and clearly that's not what we're getting but it's still much faster it is an improvement over the SanDisk Ultra that I've been using so let's quickly now switch over to the uh, the other one I have which is the Lexar Professional so this one here I bought off uh, eBay not eBay sorry uh, Amazon for I believe it was 20 basically twenty four ninety nine, which is a good deal for me um, good one good thing about this is it comes with a, a USB dongle for the micro SD card and it is USB 3 speeds so that's one thing that I actually liked about this when I saw this it is looks like it's also certified or compatible with the Hero 4 black silver and session editions um, 
it's showing here that it's rated for transfer speeds of or read speeds of 150 megabits per second and write speeds of 45 megabits per second. So it already says here it's perfect for playback and recording of full HD, 4K, and 3D video. Okay, so let's just open this up and we'll plug this into the, uh, the Xiaomi and see how that goes. Okay, so let's just quickly just take this out. So we have the Lexar, and lastly we have this new Lexar, so where's my scissors, okay, so weird, so now this one doesn't even tell you where to cut, it just, okay, anyways, um, I'll just cut here, because I really don't know where to cut. Okay, so that's the professional one, and the uh, USB 3 dongle. Whoa, what is that? I've never seen that before. So there's actually two rows of readers. What the hell? Okay, that's really weird. I've actually never seen that before. Is I'm not sure if that's standard on all U3 devices, but that's something new to me. I've never seen that before where there's actually two rows of connectors on the, the memory card. So anyways, let's put this in. Okay, so let's get off the app again and um, go and close it down and clear it. Okay, so we've cleared it. Now we just go back in. Okay, so let's run this benchmark now. And this is the benchmark with the uh, UHS-2 U3 uh, Lexar Professional 1000 speed uh, memory card. It's also good to note that the both Lexars here on the back actually states that they're both made in Korea, which I guess would be better than made in China. I, I just the mentality that everything people say that everything made in China is absolute garbage. Wow. Okay, so you can see that it there is definitely a speed difference here in terms of the write speeds because I remember in these Lexar the first Lexar test and then at the micro. The uh, Sam Sandus tests that speeds were were just worse overall compared to this, but this looks like it actually does write at a faster speed. So let's see how this goes overall in the benchmark. Okay, so here are the benchmarks. So we have read speeds of 60 megabits per second and write speeds of 38 megabits per second. So to me, based on this, these three benchmarks I did on the um, Lexar Professional, the Lexar High Performance, and the Sandus Ultra, I believe that the Xiaomi Mi Max does actually support the... Um, UHS 2 U3 speeds because the write speeds are actually pretty close to the advertised speeds so they the write speeds they advertise is uh, 45 megabits per second in terms of uh, write speeds and we got 38 so that's actually pretty close uh, the transfer speeds not so much it's advertising a hundred and uh, 150 megabits per second in terms of uh, transfer or reading and Clearly, we only got about 60, so about half of what they're stating. But the biggest thing is the write speeds, and that's what's the most important thing to me because if I choose to continue to record using this 
phone to do my 4K recordings, I'm definitely going to be switching back over to record on my micro SD card which is going to be the Lexar one here instead of to the internal memory because you can see here that my main internal memory is already pretty low because I've been doing video recordings I have to basically go manually delete it every single time after I do a recording okay so thanks for watching so in conclusion definitely the Xiaomi Mi Max does support high speed recording of um, if you buy if you want to spend the money and get high speed micro SD cards and that's definitely a good sign because it would not make any sense for the phone itself to be able to record in 4K but not support high speed. So thanks again for watching guys this has been Wizard1 bringing you the benchmark speeds for the micro SD cards for the Xiaomi Mi Max. If you enjoyed this video and you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos and my channel. You will get updates whenever I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys and have a great night.